Hello, welcome to another science revision video. In this video, we're going to focus on a chemistry topic that's called percentage by mass. Percentage by mass tells us how much of the mass of a compound is made up of one particular element. So you might be asked, what percentage of the mass of carbon dioxide is made of carbon? Now to work this out, you need the relative atomic masses of all the elements in the compound and the element you've been asked about, and also the relative formula mass of the compound. We use the equation percentage by mass equals the mass of the element you've been asked about, the relative atomic mass, divided by the relative formula mass of the compound times by 100 to make it into a percentage. So for this example, we need the relative atomic mass of the element carbon, which is the one we've been asked about, divided by the relative formula mass of the compound CO2. And then we times it by 100. So that's going to be the relative atomic mass of carbon, which is 12, and the relative formula mass of carbon dioxide, which is 44. So we do 12 divided by 44 times 100. And that will give us a percentage by mass of 27.3%. That tells us that 27.3% of the mass of carbon dioxide is made of carbon and the rest would be made of oxygen. Here's a few practice questions for you to have a go at. The first one is to calculate the percentage by mass of carbon, again in carbon monoxide this time. Secondly, the percentage by mass of oxygen in water. And finally, the percentage by mass of hydrogen in water. You're going to need the relative atomic masses of all the elements present which I'll put at the top, and you also need to work out the relative formula mass of the compounds. Pause the video and have a go. For the first one, we use, use the same equation, percentage by mass equals the mass of the element, which is carbon, over the mass of carbon monoxide, we want the relative masses, times 100, which is 12 over 28 times 100, and that gives us 42.9%. The second one, we do the relative atomic mass of oxygen over the relative formula mass of water times by 100, which will be 16 over 18 times 100, which gives us 88.9%. And then for the final one, we want to do the relative atomic mass of hydrogen, but we need to times it by 2 because it's H2O. Then we divide it by the relative formula mass of water and times it by 100, that will be 2 over 18 times 100, that will give us a percentage by mass of 11.1. I hope this video has been useful for you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!